It's Saturday morning. It's now 715 and we'll go ahead and start off with the tropics real quick. Uh, there are no tropical threats to our area, but we're continuing to monitor Danielle and also Earl. Danielle has been downgraded to a tropical storm and tropical storm Earl is still holding on to its uh, tropical storm strength. So we only have two named system in the Atlantic Basin. Tropical storm Danielle swirling around in the northern Atlantic, moving to the west at one mile per hour. And we have maximum sustained winds of 70 miles per hour with wind gusts of 85 miles per hour. Hour. Still looking pretty good on satellite imagery. You can see the convection wrapped around the center of this system. But what's happening here, it was stationary yesterday. And it was actually stationary for a few days. So it actually outsourced its fuel, the warmer water. And then we have upwelling happening. So that's why it has been downgraded to Tropical Storm Danielle. So anytime that happens, it's going to continue to weaken. But the latest forecast track from the National Hurricane Center shows that it could potentially uh, re-strengthen into a hurricane as early as this week. Not a threat to any islands, any land, and it'll be a category one storm before heading out to uh, the northern Atlantic, holding on to its strength and then eventually dissipating as we go through the rest of the week. We're continuing to watch Tropical Storm Earl. It is running into strong westerly wind shear. You can see a lot of the convection is found on the eastern side of the center of the system. It is moving pretty good to the west northwest at 13 miles per hour with winds of 40 miles per hour. So this system is expected to bring some gusty winds, heavy rainfall. Also, there's that flash flood potential for a few of the Leeward Islands, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, excuse me, and also the British Virgin Islands. So here's the latest track here. It is expected to remain a tropical storm through the entire week and eventually making that northeasterly turn as early as Monday, even Tuesday, and then really just heading out to the central Atlantic. So here's what's steering these systems. We do have a strong blocking high uh, situated over the central Atlantic. This is going to begin to break down. When that happens, we'll see Danielle move to the northeast. And as that continues to break down and shift to the west will begin to see Earl move to the northeast as well as another blocking high begins to set up shop in the northeastern uh, area of the United States and it really will just be funneled and then head, head out to the northeast again not an issue for us and so far for the season we've seen five named storms one of them becoming a, a hurricane which is Danielle and we haven't seen any major hurricanes quite yet which is good news uh, Noah still calling for an above average season here here. That's the latest prediction in August. And just to put it into perspective, uh, last year at the same time, we've already saw 11 named storms. One of them was Ida, five of them were hurricanes, and two of them were major hurricanes. And if we do get a next named storm, the next name on the list is Fiona.